closing panel discussion of today's event, how to respond to a cloud service outage preparations to do today. Brought to you by the good folks at Mandiant and Google Cloud. Joining me for this discussion is a remarkable panel of experts that include Klaus Holler, Senior Security Architect at AXA, Darius Robinson, Penetration Tester at Secure 260, Gotham Sharma Siso and Cybersecurity Ex uh, Educator at accesscyber.com, and Ben Cook, Regional Architect at Mandiant. Welcome, gentlemen. What a panel. So getting started today, as someone who's covered storage for a long time in terms of BC and DR, the idea of having resilient cloud services has been on my radar for a long time. And it's it's easily overlooked given how re reliable cloud services usually are. I mean, even though they're pushing for four nines, does that extra nine ever come into play? Not so often. So outages on on-prem services for everybody are a factor that's within your control but it's not true in the cloud because you really don't have access to the uh, to the infrastructure. And depending on the root cause, even a temporary loss of cloud services could have disastrous results in long-term and unforeseen consequences for companies who become too dependent on a mix of public cloud resources, even if it doesn't result in a loss of data. So let's open the discussion with a question for Klaus. There's a persistent myth I've been fighting for years, and you have probably too, that once data in the is in the cloud, it's somehow magically safe. Now, it may be safer in the cloud if it exists in more than one location, say on yours and in the cloud, but it's not the same as a backup, a fact that's clearly stated by nearly every cloud vendor. So do the zone-based or even geo-redundant capabilities uh, and options available within the cloud eliminate the need for backups? Uh, maybe maybe to start with some remarks before uh, answering the question. I think the cloud providers did a very good job in making redundancy and backup options available. If you are a one-man show as an IT department, you are able to benefit from global redundancy, uh, geo redundant backups. These things were impossible even for the largest enterprises uh, a decade or two decades ago. So. The clouds really make a big difference. The next thing is you're completely correct. It's also my observation and that the marketing of the cloud vendors does a very good job. They tell us how much they in invest. It's, 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 it seems uh, sometimes that they, they feel like a charity, but in the end it's an investment from them. They want the money back. And so you have to invest into people, you have to invest into services to make your cloud secure. And if you didn't invest, you're going to have nothing. And now to, uh, to, uh, to the actual point, do we still need backups? Um, I, have a, I have a mobile phone here. I have many important pictures for me on the mobile phone. And if you look how we, you made, how we secured our um, data in the past, like 10 years ago, we were uh, writing images to CD-ROMs because if you lose your laptop, then all your data is gone. And to prepare for that, you have a backup. And this kind of backups is not important anymore because today I know if I make a photo here, it's going to be in the cloud a few seconds later on. So I don't need backups anymore for device failures or for storage failures. However, I'm also sure that we still need clouds even if we have um, geo redundancy uh, here. And the reason for that is there are two ways how you can uh, lose your images. Uh, your images uh, as a private person or your enterprise data because there's another way to lose all my images and that's if I press the button, delete all pictures. And because everything is replicated, not only the new pictures are replicated, but also the, the delete options are propagated to, uh, to, all, uh, to all devices. So if someone makes an operational mistake, we have to rely on backups. Even if we have redundancy on a storage level against storage device uh, loss, we need backups to be able to, re to move back in time to a state where our data was in perfect shape, for example, before a ransomware attack. Exactly. Um, Darius, you have a point? Oh uh, yeah, so I think it's important that we practice security in depth and that we don't place all of our eggs in one basket. Um, and so, I mean, while we have these geo redundancy options, they're great, they're awesome. Yes, you should definitely use them, um, but kind of to Klaus's point, you know, there's still some considerations, you know? Um, the, all that's going to happen when you're using these solutions is things are going to get replicated out. So what happens if corrupted data 
gets, uh, you know, makes it to these solutions. Well, it gets replicated out. Now it's corrupted everywhere. Um, what happens if you misconfigure your retention policy? Um, you know, that's going to be a major issue that ultimately, you know, some of these solutions aren't going to be able to solve. Uh, and then as a pen tester, I also kind of think about it of what happens once I or a threat actor breaches your cloud environment and the Klaus's point, you know, I just hit delete and then, you know, it's gone across all of these kind of geo redundant solutions. And so, I mean, it's really important that, you know, hey, at, at least you consider the data that you have, because obviously not everything needs to be backed up. But for that critical data, you probably want it stored in multiple places. Right.